Welcome back. This is Kristen on our journey through the Bible, one chapter at a time. We were in Exodus chapter 19 yesterday, and God came and actually spoke, audibly spoke to his children on Mount Sinai. Wow, I would have loved to have heard that, although they were pretty scared. And now it's even more scary because God is presenting the Ten Commandments and telling them, okay, this is what you can and cannot do. So, which actually they aren't really scary. I mean, they're all pretty reasonable, right? Don't kill people and things like that. Anyway, let's jump right into Exodus chapter 20, the Ten Commandments. And God spoke all these words saying, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. You shall not bow down to them and not serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You shall not your son, not your daughter, not your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, not your stranger who is within your gates. For the six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is given you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not cover your, covet your neighbor's wife nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. Now all the people witnessed the thunderings and lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they trembled and stood afar off. Then they said to Moses, you speak with us and we will hear, but let God speak with us, lest we die. Don't let God speak with us. And Moses said to the people, do not fear, for God has come to test you, and that his fear may be before you, so that you may not sin. So the people stood afar off, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. Then the Lord said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, you have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. You shall not make anything to be with me. Gods of silver or gold shall not make for yourselves. An altar of earth you shall make for me and you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen in every place where I record my name, I will come to you and I will bless you. And if you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of hewn stone. For if you use your tool on it, you have profaned it, nor shall you go up by the steps to my altar. That is your nakedness may not be exposed on it. And then, I dug deeper with Pastor Chuck Smith in his teaching of the Ten Commandments, and he points out that 
it's not just if you physically murder somebody, but if you're thinking it in your head, you're hating your brother and you're wanting to kill him and wishing to kill him or lusting after somebody, that's you're still guilty of sin. And that does apply to the commandments. So it's not just, well, I didn't actually do it, but once you let sin in and you've got it in your head and that digs deeper and, and gets into you. And it's just, it's, there's so much more to it. Dig deeper into this one. And again, I use the word for today, uh, Pastor Chuck Smith. But um, if you use somebody else, John Corson or somebody else, I highly recommend digging deeper into the meaning of the Ten Commandments. And well, in every chapter, because we're just reading through one chapter. So God bless you. Thanks for coming.